Now, the key elements of 2D space are that you'll only have a horizontal and vertical value in terms of position. And in terms of rotation, you really only have one value. Now, in 3D space, uh, that's going to change. It's actually very easy to convert what is essentially a two-dimensional project to a 3D project in After Effects. It's actually as simple as going to this little uh, cube and you'll see when I mouse over it, it says 3D layer allows this layer to be manipulated in three dimensions. So all we have to do is click here. And now my more 2D text layer is a 3D layer. And if we look at our transform options here, you can see that we've added a couple of new options to our transformation palette. Uh, under anchor point and position, we now have a third value, and that is depth. So the first two values, uh, x equals horizontal position, y equals vertical position. The third value is z, and that equals the depth position. So if you think of the front of your composition as just a window, uh, x allows you to move across the window, y up and down, and Z allows you to either move farther behind the window or farther in front of the window. It can be a little bit difficult to kind of manipulate it using the selection tool. In some ways, uh, it becomes easier to do that by just changing the value here. Uh, I want to point out that in terms of depth, and again that's the Z value, positive number means that you're moving farther away from that front plane or the glass in the window, if you prefer. And a negative number actually means that you're moving closer to your position or in front of the window in relation to where the uh, original position of that object was. So you can see with the value of negative 1,000, I, um, I just kind of popped uh, very much into the, uh, the foreground here. Now right now when I uh, move things around um, my 2D text layer is still a uh, still a regular 2D layer and I can kind of um, change its relation to my 3D layer just by changing the layer order. If I go in and make this a 3D layer as well then what controls uh, their position in terms of what's on top and what's behind is the Z index. So here, um, because uh, you know originally their starting point was on a, a flat two-dimensional surface, and they both started off with a value of zero for the Z value. So um, if I add a number here that is uh, kind of a greater negative number, than negative 1,000, then what I'm going to do is uh, bring my 2D text layer, my white text layer, in front. So they both started out as two-dimensional layers, so they both started out on the same Z or depth position, which was zero. So I can change their position in terms of depth by going in and changing this number. And remember, they start at zero, a negative number brings the object on that layer closer to you, and a positive number, let's just make this 1200, pushes it farther back. So in terms of understanding uh, the three-dimensional, base, and this is just basic three-dimensional space in After Effects, this is key, you know, uh, the position in terms of how, that, how the depth works and how you can bring objects closer to you or farther away. I also want to point out that you can kind of freehand move an object, but here it, it's very difficult to just kind of pick it up and change the, its depth position. Here, when you're moving it freehand, you're really just kind of positioning it in terms of its x and y coordinates. And you can reposition it in terms of depth by grabbing this blue arrow in the middle, but uh, it, it can be very difficult to do that with any kind of precision. Um, sometimes it's a little bit titchy in terms of how it works. And 
Again, uh, just if you mouse over the different arrows, you can see what each one controls. So red equals X, green equals Y, blue equals Z, and that is horizontal, vertical, and depth. Uh, you can remember it as well if you want by comparing it to RGB. So red equals X equals horizontal, green equals Y equals vertical, and blue equals Z equals depth.